Hello short film fans, it is Zareen here. Welcome to this Cameo launch special on bullying. You may ask, why is Cameo launch doing a video on bullying? Well, I recently reviewed a film called Toxic, which exposes the truth about toxicity and in particular bullying in the UK film and TV industry. It's a brilliantly made, an incredibly important film and you can find links to both my review and the film itself in the description. When I reviewed the film, I was examining it through the lens of a film reviewer, but today I have replaced that with the lens of a healthcare professional. As well as a film lover, I am also a consultant cardiologist and sadly I happen to see many patients in my clinic who display physical symptoms due to workplace bullying. As a cardiologist, I see heart-related issues. So patients come to me with palpitations, with chest pain and breathing issues, among other symptoms. They are often anxious, find it hard to sleep, and in some cases, it affects their personal lives. Now, it's important for me to exclude an underlying medical issue, and in the vast majority of cases, the heart is absolutely fine. The symptoms are caused by the stress of workplace bullying. A report published in 2020 and commissioned by the film and TV charity surveyed people working within the industry in the UK and received a staggering 9,399 responses. They found that 56% had experienced bullying at work. People who had been bullied were 1.5 times more likely to leave the industry. Particularly affected were women, gay men, workers of colour, mid-career workers and self-employed workers. So this is a huge problem. I want to say firstly to anyone being bullied or anyone who knows someone who is, it is never okay. It's never okay and the way you're being treated is more a reflection on the bully than yourself. The first step in all cases is to recognise it. Now this sounds obvious, but it can be difficult. Other than obvious aggression and rudeness, it can be subtle. You could feel excluded or ignored. You could be overloaded with work. You may be treated unfairly, undermined or denied training or promotion. Perhaps there are rumours being spread about you. Once you've recognised it, it's so important to talk to someone you can trust. This can be at work or outside work. Getting bullied is lonely and you don't have to suffer alone. If you're getting physical or psychological symptoms, then please do seek help from a medical professional. You will not be wasting anyone's time. Most of the time, for physical symptoms, we conduct tests and reassure. Occasionally, we do find conditions that need treating. If it's affecting your mental health, then your doctor can actually guide you to the appropriate support. I would also strongly recommend really looking after your own health. Self-care is vital, especially in difficult times. I like to use the acronym FRESH. F stands for food, R for relaxation and stress management, E for exercise, S for sleep and H for honesty. If you're eating well, taking time out to relax and clear your mind, keeping active and sleeping well, then you put yourself in the best possible position to be able to deal with the stress of being bullied. Now, it is hard to do all of this, and that's why the H stands for honesty. You've got to be honest with what you can achieve with your time and lifestyle constraints. If you can't exercise, you could try to find time to relax. If you don't have time to focus on food, you could try focusing on sleep. It's small, sustainable steps that are the key and they will build your internal resilience. Dealing with the situation at work is very different for everyone. It can be helpful to document your experiences as the mind often blocks out trauma and this will help keep note of the scale of the issue. One of the striking things in film and TV is the number of freelancers who rely on recommendations and regular jobs to work. Freelancers are not under any specific contracts and it can be difficult to know who to contact for support. I'm based in the UK and there is a growing wave of support from some excellent organisations and I've listed them in the description. 
I want to specifically mention the Film and TV Charity. You can also find their website link in the description. They have a whole section dedicated to bullying. They provide support services, they have a phone line you can call, they have anti-bullying resources. They also provide guidance on how to support others and links to organisations that can help. Another important organisation is the British Film Institute or BFI. They have specific guidance on bullying that you may want to check out. There is a link to this resource in the description. In brief, here are a few key points. One, know your rights. It's easier then to take action. Two, don't be a bystander to inappropriate behaviour. This just reinforces and encourages negative cultures. Three, promote your commitment to building an inclusive workplace culture. The BFI have a set of principles and you can sign up to them and display them on profile pages. Four, report it. Now this requires some research as you need to find the most appropriate place to report for your individual situation. It could be a team leader, it could be human resources, your union, amongst others. Five, seek individual advice and support. Being a victim of bullying is lonely and it can affect both your mental and physical health. There are a growing number of organisations that can help. Sometimes just a chat with a friend or mentor could also open up options for how you can tackle the situation. Remember, if you're being bullied, it is never okay. You can find links to the film Toxic, to my review of that film, and to a range of helpful organisations in the description. If you found this video helpful, please do let us know by liking it on YouTube. Stay tuned for more short film reviews and filmmaker interviews, and don't forget to visit us at cameolaunch.com. You can also find us on social media on at Cameo Launch, on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. Take care and we will see you next time.